for 48 years, Voyager 1 has journeyed farther than any object humankind has ever launched, beyond the planets, beyond the solar wind, and into the deep silence of interstellar space. We thought we knew what it would find. Dust particles, radiation, nothing unexpected. But then, something changed. In what may be its final transmission of visual data, Voyager 1 sent back a set of images so strange, so impossible to explain, that they have forced scientists to question everything, from the laws of physics to the very nature of reality. Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Voyager, one sent back its final images after 48 years in space. Let's find out. These aren't distorted sensor glitches. These are patterns, structures. And when one of the most advanced quantum AIs on Earth analyzed the data, it found something even more disturbing. The images appear to be watching us back. What did Voyager 1 capture? Why was this discovery hidden for years? And could this final glimpse into the void be the closest humanity has ever come to contact? In 2012, as Voyager 1 crossed the heliopaths, the invisible boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy, it entered truly uncharted territory. At that time, scientists expected a gradual decline in data, a slow fade into the darkness. But that's not what happened. The data kept coming, and uh, in a recent initiative, NASA decided to reprocess archived images from that critical transition point using a newly developed quantum AI system, one capable of detecting patterns far beyond the ability of human analysis or classical computing. What the AI found sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Faint geometric structures resembling grids or lattices appeared in multiple frames not random noise, not dust, a consistent formation behaving in ways no natural structure should, especially in the vacuum of interstellar space. These structures shifted, pulsed, and even responded to changes in Voyager's scan frequencies. It wasn't just a visual echo from a dying machine, it was something new and something aware. The patterns detected weren't just visual anomalies. Embedded in their formation was a mathematical structure that could only be described as intelligent. Prime number sequences, Fibonacci ratios, repeating geometric symmetry, all showing up in ways that defy random probability. The AI, trained to detect artificiality in chaotic data, raised an alert, non-random structural coherence. For those who understood the implications, the meaning was chilling. Voyager 1 had captured something in space that not only defied physics, but also encoded information. And more disturbing still was the behavior of the anomaly. When Voyager's instruments were idle, the structure remained static. But when scans were activated, the formation altered, as if responding to being watched. This response suggested a principle known as the quantum observer effect, but at a scale never imagined. This wasn't the subatomic world. This was kilometers wide and 15 billion miles away. If true, it would mean either the anomaly is artificially intelligent or the universe itself is. With peer-reviewed papers pending and NASA remaining publicly silent, speculation has exploded behind closed doors. Some physicists propose that Voyager captured the first macroscopic evidence of quantum foam, the theoretical fabric of space itself, usually hidden at the tiniest scales, now somehow magnified beyond comprehension. Others suggest interdimensional leakage, where the image represents a higher dimensional object casting a shadow into our reality. And the most radical theory? That Voyager has triggered a response a signal flare that crossed an unknown threshold, and something noticed. The resemblance between the mathematical pattern in the images and the sequences encoded on Voyager's golden record has only deepened the mystery. The record, humanity's first cosmic handshake, 
contains greetings in 55 languages, music, and mathematical principles, including the same prime number sequencing now found in the anomaly. Is this a coincidence, or is something answering us using the language we sent first? If confirmed, this discovery would be the most significant moment in the history of astronomy, and possibly of human civilization. Whether it's proof of quantum macro effects, the first real observation of higher dimensions, or a form of non-human intelligence, Voyager's final images have shattered the illusion that deep space is empty. What lies beyond our solar system may not just be cosmic debris, they're epistructured, they're alive, or governed by rules we are only beginning to understand. What makes this even more unsettling is the timing. Voyager is nearing the end of its power reserves. It has perhaps one more year before it goes silent, forever, which means this could be the last thing it ever sees. A structure. A response. A question unanswered. A mirror turned back at us from the dark. Shortly after the discovery was flagged by the quantum AI system, a classified internal memo began circulating among a select group of NASA and JPL scientists. The document, later leaked by a whistleblower, didn't just acknowledge the anomaly, it expressed urgent concern over its implications. The memo advised an immediate pause in public statements regarding Voyager's data and suggested a coordinated review with the Department of Defense and several international agencies, what could be so sensitive that it required intervention at this level. According to the leak, the concern wasn't just scientific, it was philosophical and cultural. The memo speculated on potential psychological impacts, global unrest, and religious interpretation should the public perceive this as evidence of external observation. And so, the official narrative remained vague. Voyager was still functioning nominally, still sending valuable data, but behind closed doors, an undeniable truth was taking shape. We may not be alone in the way we once thought, and the deeper fear was that maybe we never were. Then came something no one was prepared for. After several weeks of consistent patterns in the visual data, Voyager's instruments began to receive what looked like inverted echoes of its scan signals, reflected distortions that shouldn't be possible in the vacuum of space. But what truly alarmed scientists was that some of those distortions weren't random. When translated into waveform analysis, they formed repeating harmonic structures, not unlike the beginning of a musical scale. One researcher, attempting to convert those harmonics into audible sound, uncovered a haunting sequence of tones, eternally similar to the harmonic scale encoded in the golden record itself. Could this be a coincidence? Perhaps. But many on the team now suspect that Voyager's final images are not visual at all. They are a form of encoded response, structured not in pixels, but in math, frequency, and resonant. If that's true, then this isn't just data we're receiving, it's language. As the anomaly gained attention through independent observatories and leaked data visualizations, a wave of independent scientists began their investigations. Astronomers, AI experts, even philosophers. What they found not only confirmed parts of the initial anomaly, but also revealed even more disturbing correlations. Several frames from Voyager's dataset, when processed using Fourier transform analysis, revealed mirrored sequences across multiple wavelengths. But most troubling was that certain parts of the anomaly appeared to contain artificial symmetry across time, meaning the structure wasn't just spatial, it was temporal. Its signal, in essence, appeared to be adapting, evolving with each pass of the scan. This led to a chilling hypothesis, that the anomaly is reactive. It doesn't just respond, it learns. If true, then Voyager didn't just capture something. It may have woken something. Something that now knows we're watching. Something that may be watching back. And now the question hangs in the air like a loaded silence.
If Voyager has captured a message or a presence, should we respond? Can we respond? Technically, the answer is yes. Voyager still carries basic transmission capacity. But philosophically and existentially, the answer is far more complicated. Do we answer a message we barely understand? From a source that may not even share our concept of space, time, or existence? Some within the scientific community urge caution, fearing a new cosmic contact paradox where any attempt to reach out could spark consequences we are not prepared to face. Others argue that the message may not be for us at all, but a test, a puzzle, a filter, designed to determine who's listening, and that perhaps humanity's real first contact was never going to be through a ship or a light in the sky but through a signal, buried in static, at the edge of silence. Voyager 1 was never meant to last this long. It wasn't built to communicate from beyond the edge of our solar system, and it certainly wasn't designed to uncover a mystery that shakes the foundation of everything we thought we knew. But here we are, decades after it left Earth, staring at a transmission that may not just show us what's out there, but who's out there. Or, or these final images processed through layers of artificial intelligence mathematics and pure human intuition have left us with more questions than answers are we witnessing the fabric of reality itself a response from an ancient cosmic intelligence a mirror of our message reflecting at us or something we've never even imagined What's clear now is that Voyager's last gift to humanity isn't just data. It's a warning, a whisper, a riddle wrapped in silence, pulsing with meaning. And as it drifts farther into the dark, we're left here with the unbearable weight of the unknown. So now we ask you, what do you believe Voyager 1 found out there? Do you think we should respond? Or stay silent? Is this science fiction or the first glimpse of a new cosmic truth? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'll be watching them closely. And if this story made your heart race as much as it made ours, stop, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share this video with someone ready to question everything. Because in the end, maybe the most terrifying discovery isn't that we're alone in the universe, but that we never were. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.